if you're a man, you know what it feels like to be empty. And it's not a good feeling. It feels like you're walking in place. It feels like everyone's against you. It feels like you're dragging yourself throughout every day. There's no urgency. There's no passion. Everything you do is just unfulfilling. And that is exactly why you feel the way you do because you don't have purpose and you're allowing yourself to live in this emptiness in this misery but if you don't figure out what exactly is causing it then you're going to be plagued by it for your entire life and you're going to have to pay for it down the line right now you need to change things up you need to change your habits you need to change your mindset so make sure you stick around and you listen to what i have to say because i've been there i've been there many times when i thought i was down and out when everyone was against me when people betrayed me i still found a way and the more i tried the more i failed but the more i failed the more i learned what not to do so if you're willing to save yourself from those situations then you need to listen up so being miserable and alone that's a time where you're very vulnerable it's very likely that your friends are doing the same thing they're living their own miserable life they're engaging in their own coping mechanisms whether it's weed partying drinking Drinking, going to the clubs, trying to hang out with women every chance they get, playing video games and just being totally unproductive. They'll keep pulling you in and their behaviors will transcend into your life. You can't self-reflect when you're always hanging around people who are distracting you. You can't go a month without partying, drinking, clubbing, smoking weed. You are controlled by those things. I don't care what you say. If you can't go a month without hanging out with friends who are unproductive, you are enslaved to them. We love to hang around with people who are also miserable. So we have an excuse and we have a way out of reality because when we're in this space of mediocrity and degeneracy there's no productive conversations in those areas so there's no room for accountability in these spaces there's no productive talk there's no productive outcomes there's no favorable outcomes of course you're going to feel empty of course you're going to feel like you're alone of course you're going to feel unaccomplished because there's nothing accomplished in those environments these are unhealthy environments so you need to change your social circle you need to start connecting with high value men who are living the life you want to live or at least aspiring growing and progressing to that level your friends got to be in reality they can't be distracted if they are distracted and they're not coming out of that phase you need to leave them behind bro if they're not even willing to help themselves that's your sign to cut them off because the longer you allow them to stay in your life they'll continue to weigh you down that goes for men and women in your life because women need to support you as well if she can't support you if she's always moaning and complaining about stupid stuff you need to cut her off this is precious time that you cannot get back you don't have enough time on this earth let alone in your 20s in your youth to spend it on people who don't want to grow if people are going to stay stuck they don't they want to stay as a sheep they want to stay ignorant they want to stay stubborn let them be That is their life to live. They accepted that. Now you need to accept that they're not meant to be in your life. And more importantly, when you have a high value network, everyone's working towards their own goals in their own lives, yes, but they all have their own opportunities. They all have their own network, their own personal network. And with their own personal network comes more opportunities that they can bring to the group. So you have this constant flow, exchange of ideas and opportunities. How do you think that's going to affect everyone in the group? Everyone in the group is gonna grow. Everyone's gonna level up. Everyone's going to evolve. But I guarantee you, once you cut these people out of your life, you'll feel free. Just like when you cut off that girlfriend who was toxic and you finally got over you started going to the gym you might have watched my video on monk mode and started that now you feel free as men we're more logical right so we're prepared to deal with emotions in a more logical way but when we have so many emotions building up and really no outlet for it then it becomes a problem and the solution to that problem is having a passion having something you can be passionate about having something that you can be obsessed over a skill set a hobby a side hustle a business that you want to pursue and instead of bottling up those emotions you invest your emotions into your business when you achieve certain milestones certain goals you finally registered your llc you got your logo you should feel proud of those accomplishments what you're doing is you're building a legacy you can see it building in front of your eyes it's like a project but you take all the credit this is your nest egg this is your legacy that you're about to build and your ability to master those skills you will feel proud of that it would actually feel fulfilling in contrast to filling some Someone else's pockets working for a corporation i'm not knocking people who get a degree build up capital and then they want to get into ownership at some point i really respect people who work the career and work on their business on the side that's when they really start to rack up money because once you have a passion you can find a way to build ownership from that and then once you have ownership it becomes your purpose it becomes something you can obsess over that you can spend 18 hours a day working on and you get exponential rewards from it whereas when you work a salary job there's a limit to how much you can make there's a ceiling so you tell me you would you rather to have a limit to how much you can make limit to how much you can vacation limit to what your schedule is or would you rather change all that would you have full control and bro i'm telling you once you obtain a skill set and you become passionate about improving yourself within that skill set and expanding beyond that skill set
it, you become obsessed with it. You become obsessed with the idea that you could turn into a business and you can make more money in a day than you used to make in a week. And the eye-opening experience for me when I started my landscaping business, I made more money in a day than a week working at a furniture store. That woke me up. That told me I need to keep learning how to become a better landscaper, how to get more materials, but for cheaper, how to get bigger jobs, how to get more equipment. So you obsess over the opportunity to make more money instead of working to fill someone else's pockets. You never had that thought. Wow, I'm, I'm so grateful I get to make $20 an hour. Instead, working for yourself, there's no limit. You set the terms. You determine how much you make. You put in the effort, you'll make a lot. And by investing your emotions into this, and when you understand that your time is actually valuable in this way, there's a very slim chance you let these distractions, those old behaviors, seep back into your life. Because you understand that time is a currency. And when you spend it on the wrong things, you don't get the right results. So bro, look around you. Look around you at the people who are suffering, who are willingly suffering, willingly miserable. Look at the catastrophic events, bro. You need you need to prepare for this because if some crazy shit goes down in your area and you have another property that's more secluded, you can have food there, non-perishable foods. You can have filtered water. You can have backup generators. You could have self-defense because as you strive to save yourself from that pain or regret, you start to feel more and more accomplished. Like, wow, I'm doing this for my future and my kids. So that in the moment when something goes down, there's gonna be less stress. I know we're gonna be good. And again, if you're not focused on the right things, if you're distracted, you won't even be thinking about this. Probably the first time that someone has been talking to you about such a subject. If it is, it's your time to wake up. This is your sign. And understand that the vast majority of people don't even think about these things. So when it does happen, the chaos it is going to be insane. It's just you and your family, bro. You gotta think about this. It's you and your family against the world. Some of you may think this is corny. Some of you think this isn't real. All right, go go overseas, go to the Middle East. Tell me how it feels to be there. Tell me how it feels to wake up to sirens, missile warnings. Tell me, tell me how that feels. I'm sure you wanna bring your ass right back to America. That's just a fact. If your life isn't what you want it to be right now, if you're not doing things that have actual tangible results, real impact, then you're not going to be able to feel the gratification for those results. If you don't change your routine, your schedule, same outcome. Something needs to change. If your problem is you don't have a girlfriend, you have the problem that you want to solve, but you also have obstacles to that problem. How do you get visibility to that girlfriend? You got to spend more money going on more dates. You got to spend more time, more effort on women to get more visibility because odds are the majority of women that you come across are not going to be girlfriend worthy or wife worthy. They're not going to be compatible, but instead you force yourself into a relationship because you said you need a woman. You don't need anyone but yourself and your faith and your family. So that process, it's like killing three birds with one stone. You provide for yourself, you provide for your parents, and now you have a foundation to provide for your family, for your wife and your children. But more importantly, you're confident that you can provide for a girlfriend. You guys see how this snowball effect happens? Once you take care of your real purpose, everything else that you desire right now, everything that's a distraction, it will come as a byproduct later. You have to focus on the right problem. And you're just a lazy fuck. Your parents will be gone at some point. And when they're gone, you will realize that you've been a lazy fuck. But it'll be too late. It'll be too late. And just imagine the pain of regret from that. So as that reality really starts to set in before it even happens, you'll just continue to avoid it until you're ready to accept it. And when it does happen, of course, you are going to feel as empty and miserable as you've ever felt. So keep neglecting your time or choose to change your life. Choose to accept your reality. Choose to change the course of your life. Make the difficult choice. Make sacrifices. Choose you. Choose the life you want to live. And if you find yourself lonely, confused, doubtful, remind yourself of the vision of your parents when you pay off their debt when you buy them a new house a new car and you tell them they don't have to worry no more envision that so defend your vision at all costs make it mean something make your problems bigger than they already are put them in front of your fucking face and stop worrying about people that mean nothing and do nothing for your life and that's law give yourself things to accomplish that really matter because your life matters and you matter now if you enjoyed this video leave a like subscribe if you haven't already and until next time peace out fam